be showing you how to make a Dutch braid. And it might not be the best, but it might just give you just a, oh, um, what's it called? Just a, kind of a, bit, a beginner's guide to just what to do first and just a general idea. So first I'm gonna try and brush most of it out. I don't want any knots. So what I do, I think you could tilt your head a little back. So first, I wanna get rid of this part a little, a little, a little more. So I'm gonna show you how to make one braid down instead of two like this. But if you wanna go two, just repeat the same process. So first you wanna take one piece around, around, that, around that big. And it would be easier if you kind of made it so it was a little parted every once in a while. For example, you can see the part right here. So it can just be kind of a cleaner, more slick braid. So divide it into three. You don't need to do that. And no, this is, this is, that's perfect. So you want to divide it into three. And so a Dutch braid that's going is braiding over, 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 over. Yeah. Wait, did, did, were you going under or over, Auburn? I did over. All right, so my bad. A Dutch braid is going under, 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 under. So first, before you're about to braid, you want to take a little bit on this side from this piece of the head, <laughs> um, and you want to push it under. And so it's really just a normal braid, but every time you try and go under, you just take a little piece. So for example, before I go under, I'm gonna take a little piece. I'm gonna put it up there. Before I go under, take a little piece. Put it under. So it's really, whoa. <laughs> it's really just this process over and over again, excuse me. But it just, the more you go down, the more hair you're gonna pick up. So the thicker the braid is gonna be, so this might not be, this might be a little harder to see because Auburn's hair is a little more curly than mine. We can turn the flash on the video if you want. I'm sure it'll be fine. If you want to, you can. I can. So my braid is turning out into a little more of a side braid, but that's just because I'm not really taking the time to go straight down. So mine is just kind of, a braid kind of going like this a little more. That's fine, I don't really care. Under, so you want to kind of tighten it along the way or else the braid is going to be more long rather than like stubby, which I prefer more stubby braids. So like I said, this is more of a sideways braid, but that is all right. won't the the direction you go won't change the braid itself I go under so just to recap you have the three pieces before this one goes under you want to take a little piece sorry I keep shaking the camera my bad that's it fast forward but I think it would be a little easier if it just okay. went down see you can kind of see someone of a braid kind of sticking out of the hair so I think I'm just gonna end it right here honestly but you can go it all the way down it's also really cute if you put it into a ponytail yeah. so you just keep on braiding Braid, 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 braid. And hopefully you can see somewhat of a braid right here. But yeah, the, the general idea is just when you braid down, before you're about to go under, you just take a little piece from the side and go under. Take a little piece, go under. Take a little piece, go under. And hopefully that'll give you just a head start on an actual video to do the braid. But I think...